Greetings, everybody. This is a uh, intro to uh, zombies and why they're pushing it. This is my third video on zombies, but uh, I want to read to you the uh, what the Wikipedia Wikipedia says. Uh, their definition of zombies. Zombies are fictional creatures. Or are they? Zombies are fictional creatures usually portrayed as reanimated corpses. You know, the dead comes back to life. You know. uh, zombies are fictional creatures usually portrayed as reanimated corpses or, listen to this, virally infected human beings. Human beings infected with a virus. Hmm, isn't that interesting? Uh, they are commonly portrayed as anthropophagous, whatever that word means. I'd have to look it up. A-N-T-H-R-O-P-O-P-H-A-G-O-U-S in nature. Oh, that word means feeding on human flesh. Uh, let's see. And it says labeling them as cannibals would imply that zombies are still members of the human species and expert opinions quoted in some of the films uh, specifically state that this is not the case. So, all righty. I just thought I would throw that out there. All right, let's continue with the zombie study. Oh, and that uh, move that movie poster, White Zombies, uh, that was a movie in the 1930s. Yeah, you know uh, the Roaring Twenties. You had the Roaring Twenties. You know everybody's going to the the bars and getting drunk and dancing and having fun. You know it's called the Roaring Twenties. And um, and then the crash of the stock market came in 29. The banks closed. People, if you had money in the bank, you lost it. And uh, to quote uh, South Park, and it's gone. I don't know if you ever seen that, but uh, uh, I don't watch much TV, and I hate South Park. But uh, South Park... Uh, somebody put some money, somebody got a check from his grandmother, one of the kids or whatever. Dad insisted he put it in the bank so he can collect interest and make money on it. And uh, he puts the money in the bank and the bank guy goes, all right, you got $100 in your savings account and it's gone. He goes, what do you mean it's gone? It's gone. Oh, you lost your money, you know. And everybody thinks that is so hilarious and so funny And when they're telling you what they're going to do. So in the crash of 29, stock market crash, banks closed, all the money was gone. Well, <laughs> people lost their money, but that the money didn't just vanish. It went somewhere, and I'll guarantee I know where it is. But um, the white zombie poster, look at the woman. Is that nipples on her chest? Hmm. Yeah, this is what they were pushing in the in the 30s. So, all righty. I just thought I would throw that out there. Take care. Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob here, Live the World Ministries. Uh, the Center for Disease Control is in the United States, and they're supposedly supposed to be a health organization. Well, they did a thing. They put out a thing about a um, preparedness for zombies. Now, what is zombies? Well, there's been movies out since the, I think, the 1920s or the 1930s. They started doing movies about, you know, Hollywood. Yeah, the Hollywood crowd. Movies about zombies. What are zombies? Well, they were like called the undead, the dead or the undead. You know, there's different theories. Some say they're living people that have under mind control. Others say they're 
the dead who have no soul, so their bodies just wander around. And supposedly they eat brains. 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 Well, the idea about zombies came from a country called Haiti. Haiti is 99 point something or other of African heritage. Yeah, I guess you, for lack of a better word. And there, uh, have you ever heard of voodoo? Well, that is their, basically, probably their main religion. They kind of mix it in with Catholicism. Then they've got a thing called, uh, if I remember correctly, I'm probably getting it mixed up, Santeria, uh, S-A-N-T-A-R-I-A or something like that, Santeria, I think it's probably Satan, Satan Rhea or something like that. But it comes from zombie, uh, the idea of zombies comes from places that practice voodoo, which is, you know, witchcraft. Now, the, um, they have a thing called Kuru disease, K-U-R-U. -U. From what I understand, if you can believe anything written in the medical literature, Kuru comes from cannibalism, which cannibal comes from, the uh, it's a contraction of the words Canaan, as in the Canaanites, which were the children of the fallen angels. You know, they were human satanic hybrids. Nobody believes that, but uh, that's because they haven't bothered to study the Bible. And uh, they're idiots. Well, no, they're not idiots. They're ignorant. And then uh, Canaan, Canaan and Baal. Baal was just a common word for Lord that became associated with Satanism. And it came to the point that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Israel, said, don't call me Baal anymore. So it's cannibal is Canaan and Baal. Can Canaan Baal. Can cannibal. Well, there is one country in the world... Well, actually, more. Uh, but let's see. I'm going to mention a couple things here. Haiti. Haiti killed all the Europeans on their island. And uh, you know what happens when you kill all your farmers? You kill all your engineers? You kill all your doctors? Well, you become like Sub-Saharan Africa. And they resorted to cannibalism to survive. Because, you know, what happens when you kill all your farmers? There's no crops, right? So that wasn't exactly a very well thought out game plan. So they resorted to cannibalism. Uh, from what I understand, they still do. Uh, it's a religious ritual. Um, matter of fact, the Aztecs in Mexico, what is now modern day Mexico, matter of fact, their capital was in the same place where modern-day Mexico City is. And uh, the, the deal is that uh, in the religious aspect was that if you ate the heart or the body of your opponent, your enemy, that you gained their strength. And I believe that's what they actually believe. Now, there is a tribe in New Guinea. Now, there was a big f campaign in World War II in New Guinea. The Japanese took it over. Uh, Australia um, had, let's see, I think it was Port Arthur. Yeah, Port Arthur. Or no, was it Port Arthur? I forget, but the, the Australians, the diggers, uh, they had a port there that they were fighting to defend. And not to take anything away from them, they uh, they had like 50% casualty rate, believe it or not. That means half their soldiers either died or were wounded uh, fighting the Japanese to defend parts of that island. That was a very bl bad campaign. 
at the beginning of the war. But there were tribes in New Guinea um, who practiced cannibalism. And they tested them and found that they had the human equivalent of what is called mad cow disease. They call it kuru, K-U-R-U. Supposedly it comes from a disease-causing type of thing called prions, P-R-I-O-N-S. Yeah, I studied this when I was doing some medical studies in a uh, vocational school. And uh, believe it or not, we had, I think it was a nurse that did the training. Uh, she had a doctorate degree, so she was, doc she was a doctor nurse. But uh, prions, I never heard about that when I took biology and stuff. So I don't know if prions was a recent discovery. But people that would do cannibalism, especially if they were eating brains, would contract kuru. And you could look it up. Um, it's like, it's mad cow disease in humans. So where does all this zombie stuff come from? It comes from voodoo and witchcraft and all this other stuff. So um, now these things that um, they're wanting to put into your body, if you, I can't say the, the word because this video will get banned, but they want to uh, put something into people's bodies. Um, a company called um, J, and then the other letter is J. And then uh, you take modern and then put an A at the end of it. Or uh, there's a company who uh, starts with a P. And then, uh, then it has an F, E, I, and then it has a Z-E-R. Yeah. They want to uh, put something in your body that comes from genetic type materials. So, I don't know. All I know is not a good thing. Probably. Is there going to be an outbreak of zombies? Wouldn't surprise me. Every person that is not in the Lord is subject to being possessed of devils. So, what is this zombie thing that the Center for Disease Control is talking about in all these movies? The Walking Dead, uh, what was it, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Walking Dead? That was in the, those movies were like in the early 60s. I remember that. And then there was a zombie movie back in the 30s. I don't remember. So I'll, uh, I'll put some pictures up that you can watch during this audio thing. But there's just certain keywords I can't say because uh, I had two strikes and almost lost my channel and right now I still have a strike one dropped off but it's getting to the point where they're cracking down so zombie apocalypse people be prepared I bet you everybody that takes the thing um, they might turn into zombies one day you never know or it might be possessed by a devil. I don't know. Uh, they love to tell us their plans in movies. Hunger Games, anybody? Oh, yeah. You know, you're in a world of uh, deep doo-doo when uh, a book about witches and warlocks called Harry Potter outsells the Bible. You know you're in deep doo-doo. So... 
All right, well, Chaplain Bob, Light of the World Ministries, signing off. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor. In Jesus' name, amen.